You're listening to Ron Siegel's Home and Finance Radio Show, only on Financial News and Talk. Now live in studio, your host, local and national real estate expert and consumer advocate, Ron Siegel. And hello again. Welcome to Ron Siegel Radio. This is the show with no real boundaries as we discuss current events, financial markets, politics, sports, even poking fun at the rest of the media. This is the show that connects the dots of confusion delivered by conflicting media reports. We connect the dots so you know the actions you can take, how your family, your business can benefit from current events. Most of all, thank you for joining me. Within every market, there are solutions as well as tremendous opportunities. You just need some trusted guidance. That is my message, and I will be delivering it every day on Ron Siegel Radio or anytime at 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990. Just remember, that's the number you call anytime for assistance. When you call that number, it comes directly to me first. There are operators standing by. Quiet, numbskulls. I'm broadcasting. While I do have a great team when it comes to developing a financing plan or plan to save you money, I personally work with you. Even if you don't have any needs today, save this number in your phone for future reference, 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990. And yes, of course, we're celebrating today. We do every day on Ron Siegel Radio. What do we have on the calendar today? Now, this is a tough one. National drive through Day. Now, I don't know about drive through Day because, well, how much... How much Weight does drive how much weight do drive throughs add to our waistline? Uh, it's nice and easy. Uh, when I used to go into a different office uh, several years ago, uh, drive throughs used to cause me all kinds of problems. I'll just I'll come clean on it now that because it is over a decade ago. So you know, I'd be on the way home from the office and you just had to stop off at McDonald's and get something to eat. Uh, and then get home, and and uh, the bride has dinner ready, or get ready to go out for dinner. Uh, not too healthy, so be careful of those drive-throughs. They can be, they can be, they can be problematic. Although I'm not sure which is more problematic, because today is National Tequila Day, and you know I was never a big fan of tequila, and you know I'm not a big, uh, I don't, I'm not into the shooters and all that kind of stuff. But our friends over at Comisario Tequila came in and we did a broadcast together. Now, I don't know whether it was drinking tequila at 9 o'clock in the morning or it was just that the tequila tasted good. I don't know what it was. But that was some pretty good stuff. National Tequila Day. So our question of the day, uh, are you a tequila drinker? What is your favorite tequila? And I will go with that Comisario because I liked it. Now, again, I didn't shoot it. We just sipped it. You know, you don't have to have the lime and the salt and the shooter and all that stuff to enjoy tequila. So what is your favorite tequila? Put it in the chat if you're a tequila drinker. If you're not, okay, go ahead. You can go with, well, I drink most of the time. I'm drinking Tito's or Kettle One. But what's your favorite tequila Uh, on uh, National Tequila Day? Okay, let's see what the markets are doing. The uh, markets are getting hurt today. It's a painful, painful day on Wall Street. Um, looking at the Dow Jones Industrial Average down 318 points, now 312. S&P 500 is down 95.83. The NASDAQ down 514 Ow! points. Yeah, 514 on the NASDAQ. I guess the market didn't like the numbers that came out of Tesla or out of Google yesterday when they announced their earnings, down 517 points. That is painful if you are a tech stock holder, which I used to be. Uh, Oil up 79 cents a barrel. We've got the, uh, I don't even want, 465, uh, 466 a gallon of gasoline here in the formerly Golden State. And I don't know about that one. It's uh, it's getting getting a little lofty again. Although I'm sure now with all this presidential election going, we'll see what happens. Ah, money. What do we talk? We talk about money all the time on Ron Siegel Radio. Have you seen this article that came out today? First off, the Rose Bowl does not want to get involved with the college football playoff. And I like the college football playoff. I like the concept. But, you know, the Rose Bowl is not going to have the great teams, I guess, because They want to guarantee that they'll still have their game on New Year's Day. 
And right as of right now, the uh, CFP is not going to give them that guarantee. So we'll see what happens there. But college football, I'm not sure. Is college football about to be over? I- I'm going to just throw that out there. I, I don't know. What, what are your thoughts? College football, is it, is it going to be over? I, j- I saw an article this morning that the Ohio St- I'm not going to say the Ohio State University, but Ohio State University, they took the lead now with the amount of money that their program generates. Are you ready for this one? I mean, this is crazy. $250 million a year. $250 million for college football. And I, I don't see the number in here. I, I lost the report. But I saw that they're paying the players like $20 million. Okay, so what is, I don't know, Boise State? I don't, know, I, I don't even know the name of another small school. But, you know, what are these, what are these schools going to do? Is it going to be just a who can pay the most money? I, I saw Oregon University. Right, their big donor is Phil Knight, an aged man, owner of Nike. And he basically said he wants to see Oregon win a championship. He doesn't care what it costs. So he'll give them whatever money they need so they uh, they can pay the best players to come to that school. So is college football over? Seems to me like, you know, there's there's not a whole lot left in the way of, of, uh, uh, it's not an amateur sport. Then the other part of it, you have to look at how is this going to affect Title IX, right? What's that? What's the effect on Title IX? If you're going to spend uh, that kind of money on on football, and I, I believe, I know I'm I'm probably in the minority, but I don't care. I don't think that I don't like Title IX. I think it's it's a I, I think we need to have the security for the women's sports. We got to have that, but. You can't have, I mean, I look at women's basketball. You know, until they they just got a new contract for, I think, $200 million or something like that. And the sport is always, and I think that's over 10 years. But last year, the sport lost $50 million. So you say, okay, well, why isn't, uh, the only name I know in all of college basketball, maybe you're the same way, Caitlin Clark, only name I know. So they say, well, why? she's only making $78,000 a year. Well, who's going to come up with the rest of the money when the league is losing $50 million? So it's not about gender. It's about, you know, who wants to see, the, who wants to see who's going to pay for it. Just, again, another one of my personal issues right there. Uh, I don't know. You uh, Put in the chat what your thoughts are. I'm always interested in hearing what other people have to say. So let me know your thoughts on that. We're going to talk today about a number. Uh, it's going to be a big, it's going to be an interesting conversation the way we talk about a number today because a lot of people again don't talk about some of these things. We're going to be getting into an area coming up and it won't be very very far off where there's going to be a big refi boom coming. And the problem is a lot of people are not going to be able to take advantage of the refi boom. And I'm going to tell you why when we come back. You're listening to Ron Siegel Radio discussing your real estate current events and the financial markets. You can reach me anytime. My off-air number, 800-306-1990, or ronsegalradio.com, facebook.com forward slash Radio. And if you miss any part of our broadcast, Ron Siegel 1 on YouTube. Ron Siegel, the numeral one on YouTube. Stay tuned. We'll be back in just a few. Ron Siegel Radio. Your home and mortgage Confused about the home buying process? Or curious how much you really know about buying a home? Take the first Home IQ quiz to test your understanding of buying a home. Created by the nonprofit First Home IQ, this five minute quiz will give you a score what you missed and why. Take the quiz in five minutes at rsrlinks.com slash FHIQ and find out what you need to know about buying your first home. That's rsrlinks.com slash FHIQ. 
Do you know a homeowner experiencing divorce? Do you know a real estate reference and the divorce decree could cost tens of thousands of dollars? A certified divorce mortgage planning and real estate report could save you thousands of dollars, and it's free from your local certified divorce lending professional. Reach out to Ron today. Ronismylender.com. Again, Ronismylender.com. Licensed under NMLS 217037, Equal Housing Lender. Homeowners over the age of 62 are taking back financial control after retirement with reverse mortgages, and the Siegel Lending Team is here to help you use it to your advantage. Call Ron Siegel with Geneva Financial to receive your free information booklet with no obligation. The booklet answers all your questions, and the best part is you still own your home. Call Ron Siegel at 1-800-306-1990 or visit ronsiegelradio.com. Are you earning a safe, secure 10 plus percent return on your investments? Is your credit score over 800? Are you living in the home of your dreams or simply where you think you can afford? If the answer to any of these questions is no, what are you doing about it? Text ATP to 79564, complete a three minute complimentary survey and the area trusted professionals of Ron Siegel Radio will reach out to you to develop a success strategy for you. Again, all you need to do is text ATP to 79564. Are you like many of your neighbors trying to figure out how to pay off your debts so you could retire someday? Build bigger savings. Invest in opportunities. Visit rsrnodebt.com. Debt will destroy 50% of Americans from being able to retire earlier and with more. What if you could have a guaranteed program that could show you how to eliminate all of your debt in 10 years or less, all without having to spend more each month than you spend right now? Yes, that's correct. All without spending more from your checkbook each month than you are today. Get your free analysis today to see if you qualify. Visit rsrnodebt.com. Log on today for your free analysis, rsrnodebt.com. No purchase necessary. The free analysis takes only two minutes. RSRNoDebt.com. Ron Siegel Radio is your home and mortgage connection. Go to RSRNoDebt.com. RSRNoDebt.com. Are you paying rent because you cannot afford to live in your dream home? Are you paying rent because you don't believe you have the down payment funds to purchase your own home? At Siegel Lending Team at RonIsMyLender.com has up to $25,000 to help qualified people purchase their own home at amazing interest rates. Contact the Siegel Lending Team today at RonIsMyLender.com. Again, RonIsMyLender.com. Licensed under NMLS 217037. RonIsMyLender.com. You're listening to Ron Siegel's Home and Finance Show with local and national expert, Ron Siegel. Now, here's Ron. Welcome back to Ron Siegel Radio. Within every market, there are solutions as well as tremendous opportunities. You just need some trusted guidance. That is my message, and I will be delivering it every day on Ron Siegel Radio or anytime at 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990. The Mortgage Minute today being brought to you by our friends at Geneva Financial. When you're ready for that next home loan, Geneva's got the programs and the products. You just need to make the call. 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990. And every day at this time, OBMMI. They provide the most comprehensive, accurate, timely, and interactive analysis of pricing ever conducted in the mortgage industry. Calculated from actual locked rates with consumers across 35% of all mortgage transactions. Nationwide, they don't tell us points paid, points received, or the APR. They only tell us the number that you put into the mortgage calculator to find out what your principal and interest payment is. And if you don't have a mortgage calculator, ronismylender.com, ronismylender.com. Let's take a look and see what the rates did yesterday, the latest data that we have available. 30-year conforming rates down 6.771. 30-year jumbo rates up 7.238. 30-year FHA down 6.551. USDA, that is the rural areas, generally no down payment. 6.62 and the best loan on the market for our veterans who do not want to put any money down. That is 6.387. That was up just a little bit. If you want our thoughts about the markets, we do put those out each morning as early as the data allows. Uh, that was all you have to do is sign up for it. It's a free subscription. RSRMarketMinute.com. RSRMarketMinute.com. Let's take a look and see what the markets 
are doing today as we look at that. The S&P 500 now down 97.52. 97.52. Let's see the 10-year treasury. Uh, that one is up 10 basis points. I'm sorry, the 10-year treasury is down two basis points, 4.233. That's the yield, the interest rate. The mortgage bond, that's up 10 basis points. That means interest rates on the mortgages are down a little bit today. When the bond goes up, the rates go down. Just mathematics. That's the way it works. So let's take a look and see what's driving this. Well, we're getting some more bad data. Does that surprise anybody? Bureau of Labor Statistics, once again. Surprise, surprise, surprise. So the Bureau of Labor Statistics does a model, and they figure out what they think that the, the labor, what labor is, uh, job creations. And they come out with that number the first Friday of every month. They revise it the next two, two uh, months and still get it wrong. That just baffles me. I understand how you get it so wrong the first time almost. You know, they ought to just stop doing it if they can't get anywhere close. But they do a modeling method of, of figuring this out. Then you've got the quarterly census of employment and wages. This is done by the U.S. Department, the Census Department. And businesses must respond to this one. So it is much more accurate because when the businesses have to respond, well, they're telling the, the Census Bureau, this is how many people I have right now. This is how many people I had last quarter, last month, whatever they're doing. So the problem is, is because it's done as a must respond, there is a delay to it. So the latest data we have, and obviously we're recording this uh, in the latter part of July, they just released their Q4 data from 2023. And after all the revisions from the Bureau of Labor Statistics, they still say, that the count was overstated by 293,000 jobs. Did you hear that in the news anywhere, that they overstated by 293,000 jobs? BLS reported that in Q4 last year, there were 637,000 jobs created, most coming from the faulty birth-death model that tries to estimate how many businesses were created versus how many closed and what the impact is on jobs. Those of us that really want to know the number, we just look at the ADP report which has, is where those companies are doing their payroll in many instances, and they tell us the number. But the Bureau of Labor Statistics doesn't do that. The QCEW data shows that there were only 344,000 jobs created during the same period. Remember, the uh, Bureau of Labor, uh, uh, meaning the job picture is much worse than initially reported. The 293,000 overstated 261,000, 90%, came from the birth-death model. Odd, this is old data, so it's not going to have a big, big impact on the market, but it is the actual data and confirms that the BLS has been overstating the strength of the labor market. The Fed will definitely look at these numbers and factor that into their rate cut decisions as they have a dual mandate and want to see stable prices. That's where we keep talking about the 2% core inflation, and we get their favorite measure of inflation this on Friday, as well as maximum employment. They do not want to see unemployment rate rise much higher. The weaker jobs data and expected decline in Friday's PCE inflation data will likely be discussed discussion points at the July 31st Fed meeting. We may see some dissenters, meaning some in favor of a rate cut, although the likelihood of a cut is very low. September 18th, however, appears to be a done deal as of now. Other data that came out, new home sales, which measures assigned contracts on new homes, fell 0.6% in June to a 617,000 unit annualized pace which was lower than market estimates. When factoring in the slight positive revisions to last month, sales were down 0.3%, which is essentially flat. There are 476,000 new homes for sale at the end of June, which was up slightly from 472,000 in May. Current pace of sales, there is a 9.3 month supply, which is up from 9.1. However, got to remember this part, only 102,000 are completed and when looking at the pace of sales versus homes that are completed, available supply, there's only about two months' supply available, up from 1.9. This means that 374,000 homes are either not started or under construction. And it's unclear how many will actually make it to the finish line because financing and carrying costs are high. Median home price reported at 417,000, up 2.5%. Remember, 
That is just the mix of homes for sale. Has nothing to do with the legitimate number of anything. So don't get too excited about uh, uh, median prices. What you really want to know is what's going on on the house on your street. And if you want to know that information, yes, of course, we have it at Ron Segal Radio. rsrlinks.com forward slash market report. rsrlinks.com slash market report. You can actually get your zip code, which is going to be a whole lot more accurate than going with anything else. That is the Mortgage Minute brought to you by our friends at Geneva Financial. When you're ready for that next home loan, Geneva's got the programs and the products. You just need to make the call, 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990. So going to give you a little bit. I think, well, Josh, let's put this under Borrow Smart. Brought to you by rsrhomeselect.com, rsrhomeselect.com. So we're coming upon a time, and as I just mentioned in the Mortgage Minute, we're going to probably see there's like a 90% market chance. The the markets are basically saying there's a 90% chance that we're going to see a, a Federal Reserve rate cut in September. Well, the Federal Reserve does not drive mortgage rates. If there's an adjustable rate, if there's a home equity line of credit, uh, any adjustable loans, those, the Federal Reserve's numbers will trickle into more directly than mortgage rates. But mortgage rates do carry on. And one of the things mortgage rates, and I I tell you every day about the mortgage-backed securities, the the bond, and that bond is heavily tied to the 10-year treasury. It's not exact. But they kind of move together, the 10-year treasury. First off, let's discuss that. So why does the 30-year mortgage bond tie to the 10-year treasury and not to a 30-year note, which there is? Well, it's because the, the markets, the, the banks, know that we only keep our loans for about 3.2 years in this country. Yet most consumers want a 30-year loan. So because the consumer wants that 30-year loan, the banks say, okay, we've got a, what's called interest rate risk, and they charge for it. So the consumer is actually paying extra to have a 30-year lo- note when the markets know they're not going to keep it that long. How long was the, When was the last time you refinanced your mortgage? Not how long you've been in your house, but when was the last time you refinanced your mortgage? Okay, so you say five, six, seven years. Well, there's adjustable rate loans that are fixed for five years, seven years, 10 years. That's what the market looks at. So most people, they say, well, I want to have that fixed security. Okay, feel good about it. You pay more. It's going to cost you, if you're paying $200 a month more for that security, that's going to mean your cost, it's about $250,000, $300,000 over the course of your loan, over the course of a 30-year loan. But let's get back to what's happening. On top of that, because of the high in, increase in uh, interest rates in the last couple of years, about 35% of the people in the mortgage industry have left the industry. That would be loan officers and and processors and underwriters and all the back office staff. 35% have left the industry. Now, what's going to happen when interest rates come down later this year or in the next year? There's going to be a big scramble. So when we look at the numbers, there are 2 million households with a mortgage rate between 6 and 6.5%. There's 2 million households with an interest rate of 6 and 5 eighths to 7%. And 2 million households with a mortgage rate above 7%. Now, I just told you that the conforming number, and again, this isn't what you're going to pay. It's all different things in there is at 6.77 right now. What would happen if interest rates drop to six or six and a quarter? Well, that's going to mean there's a lot of folks who are going to start looking and saying, I want to get, get, get a new loan. I want to save that money. What happens if you can just save a half a percent? Now, half a percent is kind of funny because it means something different to everybody. I don't like the di- the terminology of a half a percent because... I can't spend a half a percent. 
I can't go on vacation. I can't get a new car. I can't get a new shirt. I can't go to dinner. Any of that stuff. I can't do that with a half a percent. If I know that I'm going to save $300 a month, I know that at the end of X amount of time, I can go on vacation, right? So let's talk about dollars, not percent, but, but, let, but we have both. And we know there's costs involved in doing a new, new loan, $2,000, $3,000, whatever that number is. We have to figure out what the break-even time is for that. So let's think about this. If interest rates go down to 5.5%, and I'm not saying they will, I'm not forecasting that. If interest rates go down to 5.5%, well, we're looking at 6 million people coming into the market. If interest rates go down to 6 and an eighth, that's 4 million. Now think about 4 million. What does that mean? Every purchase and refinance loan done in the United States in 2023, there were 4 million loans. So if interest rates come down to 6 and an eighth, that means that there's 4 million people coming into the market. If they go down to 6 and 5 eighths, that's 2 million people. Now, if we get rid of mortgage insurance, that's a big benefit. But think about this. What we want to do and what we're suggesting people do is get a hold of us right away. Call us today or get on our calendar today and let's do a liability checkup. What do your liabilities look like? What does your mortgage look like? What does your credit card debt look like? Let's do a whole liability checkup for you. Let's find out what that number is that would excite you to get a restructured loan. Is it $300 a month, $400 a month? That way we've got, and we'll, we'll get everything in place. That way, as soon as that triggers, you're not going to be one of the people that are left out because you didn't take action when we told you on Ron Siegel Radio that there could be 6 million people coming to market just on refinances, plus you add all the new, new purchases with a inventory of people, a herd of people that is diminished and not able to help all the people that want help. Give us a call at 800-306-1990. Let's do that liability checkup right away. You are listening to Ron Siegel Radio, discussing your real estate, current events, and the financial markets. When we come back, let's see what we've got on schedule for you. Why a foreclosure wave is not on the horizon. Newly built homes may actually be more budget-friendly and credit card sign-up bonuses, do's and don'ts. All that and more. Reach me anytime off air number 800 800- 306 1990 800 306 or ronsegalradio.com. Facebook.com forward slash Ron Siegel Radio. And if you miss any part of our broadcast, Ron Siegel 1 on YouTube. Ron Siegel, the numeral 1 on YouTube. Stay tuned. We'll be back in just a few. Ron Siegel Radio. Your home and mortgage connection. Confused about the home buying process? or curious how much you really know about buying a home. Take the first Home IQ quiz to test your understanding of buying a home. Created by the nonprofit First Home IQ, this five-minute quiz will give you a score, what you missed, and why. Take the quiz in five minutes at rsrlinks.com slash FHIQ and find out what you need to know about buying your first home. That's rsrlinks.com slash FHIQ. Are you a veteran, own a home, and need money? The Siegel Lending Team is here to help veterans refinance and get the money they need. The VA 100 lets you borrow up to 100% of your home's value, refinance your mortgages, consolidate credit cards, and lower your payments by an average of $700 a month. And the Siegel Lending Team knows that character means more than a credit score. Call 800-306-1990. That's 800-306-1990. Rate subject to change without notice. Licensed by the California Department of Corporations, NMLS 21037, and DRE number 01869452. Are you like many of your neighbors trying to figure out how to pay off your debts so you can retire someday? Build bigger savings. Invest in opportunities. Visit rsrnodebt.com. Debt will destroy 50% of Americans from being able to retire earlier and with more. What if you could have a guaranteed program that could show you how to eliminate all of your debt in 10 years or less, all without having to spend more each month than you spend right now? Yes, that's correct all without spending more from your checkbook each month than you are today. Get your free analysis today to see if you qualify. 
visit rsrnodebt.com. Log on today for your free analysis, rsrnodebt.com. No purchase necessary. The free analysis takes only two minutes, rsrnodebt.com. Ron Siegel Radio is your home and mortgage connection. Go to rsrnodebt.com, rsrnodebt.com. Do you know a homeowner experiencing divorce? Do you know a real estate reference and the divorce decree could cost tens of thousands of dollars? A certified divorce mortgage planning and real estate report could save you thousands of dollars, and it's free from your local certified divorce lending professional. Reach out to Ron today. Ronismylender.com. Again, Ronismylender.com. Licensed under NMLS 217037, Equal Housing Lender. Are you earning a safe, secure 10 plus percent return on your investments? Is your credit score over 800? Are you living in the home of your dreams or simply where you think you can afford? If the answer to any of these questions is no, what are you doing about it? Text ATP to 79564, complete a three minute complimentary survey, and the area trusted professionals of Ron Siegel Radio will reach out to you to develop a success strategy for you. Again, all you need to do is text ATP to 79564. Are you a renter and tired of making monthly payments? Paying off someone else's mortgage? Hey, it's Ron Siegel here to help you stop renting and start owning your dream home with amazing low interest rates. And you could potentially qualify for a $500,000 home for less than $5,000 out of pocket. So stop renting. Start owning with Ron Siegel. Learn more at ronsiegelradio.com and start owning today. Licensed under NMLS 217037, Equal Housing Lender. We're listening to Ron Siegel's Home and Finance Show with local and national expert, Ron Siegel. Now, here's Ron. Welcome back to Ron Siegel Radio. Within every market, there are solutions, as well as tremendous opportunities. You just need some trusted guidance. That is my message, and I will be delivering it every day on Ron Siegel Radio or anytime at 800-306-1990. 1990 the real-time real estate segment today being brought to you by rsrmoney.com, rsrmoney.com. Why a wave, a foreclosure wave is not on the horizon. Even though data shows inflation is cooling, a lot of people are still feeling the pinch on their wallets. And those high costs on everything from gas to groceries are fueling unnecessary concerns that more people are going to have trouble making their mortgage payments. But does that mean there's a big wave of foreclosures coming? Here's a look at why the data and the experts say that's not going to happen. There aren't many homeowners who are seriously behind on their mortgages. One of the main reasons there are so many foreclosures, or there were so many foreclosures during the last housing crash, was because relaxed lending standards made it easy for people to take out mortgages, even when they couldn't show they'd be able to pay them back. At that time, lenders weren't being as strict when looking at applicant credit scores, income levels, employment status and debt-to-income ratio. But since then, lending standards have gotten a whole lot tighter. Lenders became much more diligent when assessing applicants for home loans. And that means we're seeing more qualified buyers who have less of a risk of default on their loans. That's why data from Freddie Mac and Fannie Mae shows the number of homeowners who are seriously behind on their mortgage payments, known in the industry as delinquencies, has been declining for quite some time. If you're watching us on ronsingoradio.tv, any of the socials, or the ABC News and Talk AM 1490 FM 98.1 video feed, you're seeing a chart of serious delinquencies, and it is on a decline, which ironically enough, it's on a decline right now, and during the pandemic, it was on a forbearance. They couldn't even do it. What this means is that not only are borrowers more qualified, but they're also finding ways to navigate through their challenges, exploring their repayment options, or maybe even using the record amount of equity they have to sell and avoid foreclosure entirely. The answer is, there's no sign of a wave coming. Before there can be a significant rise in foreclosures, the number of people who can't make their mortgage payments would need to rise significantly. But since so many buyers are making their payments today and homeowners have so much equity built up, a wave of foreclosures is not likely. Take it from Bill McBride of Calculated Risk, an expert on the housing market 
who after closing closely following the data and market leading up to the crash, was able to see the foreclosure crisis coming in 2008. McBride says, quote, we will not see a surge in foreclosures that would significantly impact house prices as happened following the housing bubble for two key reasons. Number one, mortgage lending has been solid. And number two, most homeowners have substantial equity in their homes, unquote. Bottom line, if you're worried about a potential foreclosure crisis, no, there's nothing in the data to suggest that'll happen. Buyers are more qualified now, and that's one reason they're not falling seriously behind on their mortgage payments. That is the Mortgage Minute, brought to you by rsrmoney.com, rsrmoney.com. Uh, let's see. I think we've got a Borrow Smart coming up. Borrow Smart, brought to you by rsrhomeselect.com, rsrhomeselect.com. Dot com credit card sign up bonuses do's and don'ts if you're scrolling online an attractive credit card offer pops up on your screen maybe it's off it's an it's offering a too good to pass up sign up bonus where you get a handful of free night stays at a luxury hotel or a robust bonus for travel sound familiar credit card sign up offers also known as welcome bonus are designed to get you to open an account and make purchases on a card. If a credit card offer with a generous sign-up bonus has caught your eye, there are some things to keep in mind so you won't find yourself in a financial quagmire. Here we've rounded up a list of do's and don'ts to keep you spending responsibly and maintain solid credit. Do. Check all the details of the sign-up bonus. Besides the main details of the sign-up bonus, like a 440,000 bonus points, if you spend $4,000 in the first three months of opening your account, figure out what else the bonus can get you. Scooping up the bonus points is the first part. And second part is about what to do with those bonus points and how to get the most value. What can you spend those points on? Are the things you can spend the points on valuable to you? Another example, if there's a hotel loyalty card, will you get a higher redemption value if you use those points toward hotel stays or... If it's a promo bonus for a travel card, what travel portals will you get a higher redemption value and what transfer partners are best? Don't choose a card solely for the sign-up bonus. Sometimes you get so enticed by the sign-up offer that you might fail to figure out whether the card fits you. Make sure the card is a good fit for, your out, for you outside the sign-up bonus. Some aspects to consider to decide whether it's a sound credit card for your needs and situation. Annual percentage rate, late fees, cash advances, over card limit fees, annual fees, how many points you would earn on everyday purchases in specific categories, like 3X on the grocery stores and discount points, 1X on points and everything else, perks and other benefits, i.e. Trip, trip interruption insurance, car rental insurance, purchase protection, extended manufacturer's warranty. Ask yourself, is this a valuable card outside the sign-up bonus? Will I be using it regularly or perhaps for specific purchases? Do sync signing up for a card with a big ticket purchase. As mentioned, credit up promo offers are created partly to get you to get into the habit of putting purchases on the card. However, it's a slippery slope as you might unknowingly make unnecessary purchases. To prevent this from happening, sign up for the bonus with a planned big ticket purchase. Notice I said planned big ticket purchase, not just a whim. For instance, you might have tax payments, a big home improvement project, or a semi-annual auto insurance or homeowner's insurance bill on the horizon. If you use your new credit card to pay for something essential, you can scoop up that sign-up bonus with a single purchase. Plus, you won't be spending nilly-willy and suffer a case of regrets, not to mention a large credit card balance. Do. Put essential purchases on your card. Remember, ccpayment.com. We've told you how to do this. CCP, RSR, ccpayment.com. Another way you can make sure you spend enough on your card to get the bonus points is by putting essential everyday purchases on your card. For example, you need to spend $4,000 within the first three months of opening your account to get the sign-up bonuses, and you have $3,000 quarterly estimated tax payment within that three-month window. And if you use your new credit card to fill up at the gas station, pay for groceries and household items, and spend at least $1,000 over three months, you should be able to snag the sign-up bonus. 
Remember, you might want to stop making these purchases after you've met the threshold to get the bonus. That way you don't fall into the danger of getting into the habit of putting all your everyday purchases only to discover you've been spending too much. Remember, rsrccpayment.com. Don't spiral into debt over a sign-up bonus. When racking up a balance on your card, the key is ensuring you can handle the repayments. While making the minimum payment may prevent you from damaging your credit, stretching out payments means paying more interest fees. Plus, you'll need to be juggling additional debt. If possible, have those large ticket purchases saved up beforehand. That way you can pay the balance in full. Alternatively, create a payoff plan. Make sure you can reasonably afford the monthly payments and aim to knock off your debt within a given time frame. Otherwise, you might find yourself falling behind on your payments. Do be mindful. That's a biggie. Do be mindful about how to manage multiple credit cards. Opening another credit card requires extra card management, no matter how many cards you have. To help you manage all your credit cards, you should consider setting a budget, scheduling payment reminders, setting spending alerts, and making sure you're staying on track with your credit goals. Bottom line, before hopping on the card sign-up bonus train, you should review and understand the offered details to ensure it's the right card for you and have a plan in place to make sure you can reasonably pay off the amount of spending required for the bonus. That is a Borrow Smart segment brought to you by rsrhomeselect.com, rsrhomeselect.com. You're listening to Ron Siegel Radio, discussing your real estate, current events, and the financial markets. When we come back, a newly built home may actually be more budget-friendly. And more, you can reach me anytime off air number 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990, or ronsegalradio.com. Call me anytime. We'll be back in just a few. Ron Siegel Radio, your home and mortgage connection. Are you a renter and tired of making monthly payments? Paying off someone else's mortgage? Hey, it's Ron Siegel here to help you stop renting and start owning your dream home with amazing low interest rates. And you can potentially qualify for a $500,000 home for less than $5,000 out of pocket. So stop renting. Start owning with Ron Siegel. Learn more at ronsegalradio.com and start owning today. Licensed under NMLS 217037, Equal Housing Lender. Hey friends, do you dream of mortgage-free home ownership? Are you aware that even if you own your home free and clear, it could still be costing you thousands per year? The Siegel Lending Team can help you generate tax-free income, accumulate family wealth, and maintain ownership of your home. By simply emailing your most recent mortgage statement, you'll receive a no-obligation real estate plan. Learn more by calling 1-800-306-1990 or email me your recent mortgage statement to P-E-A-R at ronsegalradio.com. Licensed under NMLS 217037, Equal Housing Lender. Are you like many of your neighbors trying to figure out how to pay off your debts so you can retire someday? Build bigger savings. Invest in opportunities. Visit rsrnodebt.com. Debt will destroy 50% of Americans from being able to retire earlier and with more. What if you could have a guaranteed program that could show you how to eliminate all of your debt in 10 years or less, all without having to spend more each month than you spend right now? Yes, that's correct. All without spending more from your checkbook each month than you are today. Get your free analysis today to see if you qualify. Visit rsrnodebt.com. Log on today for your free analysis, rsrnodebt.com. No purchase necessary. The free analysis takes only two minutes. rsrnodebt.com. Ron Siegel Radio is your home and mortgage connection. Go to rsrnodebt.com. rsrnodebt.com. Confused about the home buying process? Or curious how much you really know about buying a home? Take the first Home IQ quiz to test your understanding of buying a home. Created by the nonprofit First Home IQ, this five-minute quiz will give you a score, what you missed, and why. Take the quiz in five minutes at rsrlinks.com FHIQ and find out what you need to know about buying your first home. That's rsrlinks.com FHIQ. 
Are you tired of paying rent? Are you tired of paying someone else's mortgage? Do you know qualified folks can potentially purchase a $500,000 home for less than $5,000 out of pocket? Ron Siegel can help qualified people purchase their own home at amazing interest rates. If you're tired of paying someone else's mortgage, reach out to Ron today at ronismylender.com. That's ronismylender.com. Licensed under NMLS 217037, Equal Housing Lender. You're listening to Ron Siegel's Home and Finance Show with local and national expert, Ron Siegel. Now, here's Ron. Welcome back to Ron Siegel Radio. Within every market, there are solutions as well as tremendous opportunities. You just need some trusted guidance. That is my message, and I will be delivering it every day on Ron Siegel Radio. Or anytime at 800 306 1990. The real time real estate segment today being brought to you by rsrmoney.com. rsrmoney.com. A newly home built may actually be more budget friendly. That is the subject. If you're in the market to buy a home, there's some exciting news for you. Many people assume that newly built homes are more expensive than existing ones, houses that have already been lived in. And that's not always the case. In fact, exploring newly built homes can sometimes lead to more cost-effective options, especially today. Hard to believe, right? But the data doesn't lie. Here are two key reasons working with your agent to look into new home construction could help you find a more budget-friendly option. Number one, lower median prices for newly built homes. The median sales price for newly built homes is lower than the median sales price for existing homes. Today, this might seem surprising, but it's true according to the latest data from Censusand, the National Association of Realtors, NAR. Uh, The median price for newly built homes coming down. Again, if you're watching us on RonSegalRadio.tv, any of our socials, or the ABC News and Talk AM 1490 FM 98.1 video feeds, you are seeing this chart of the median price for new homes is coming down. Why is that? Builders are focused on building what they can sell, and right now there's a very real need for smaller and more affordable homes, so that's what they've been bringing to the market. At the same time, there are also more newly built homes already on the market than there have been over the last few years, so builders are motivated to make sure they're selling what they've got available before adding new ones. Number two, attractive incentives from home builders. Another big reason to consider a newly built home is the range of incentives that many home builders are offering. Again, since builders are aiming to sell their their current inventory, some are providing special deals to sweeten the pot for home buyers. Housing Wire explains today's trends. Overall, the usage of sales incentives was up 61% in June compared to 59% in May. One of the most appealing incentives right now is how builders are able to offer competitive mortgage rates They may also provide other incentives, such as covering closing costs or offering free upgrades. See, the builder wants to keep the price as high as they can. That way it shows stability, and it also helps them for the next phase. So they don't want to discount the price. So what do they do? They give incentives, and that's what they're talking about, the incentive on the mortgage rate, and they also give the incentives on closing costs. You can get more and more of those. Why this matters to you, consider a newly built home, could open up opportunities you hadn't hadn't thought of before. With competitive pricing and attractive incentives, you might just find that a brand new home is the most appealing option for you. Bottom line, buying a home is a big decision and it's essential to consider all your options. By looking into newly built homes, you might find a perfect fit for your needs and your budget. Give me a call at 800-306-1990, 306 1990 to chat about this. Remember, you don't want to go to the builder's showroom yourself. You want to, and if you do, don't give him your real name. What you want to be doing is you want to go with your real estate agent. And not that I care, I don't, I have a real estate license, I don't use it. But why do I say that to you? Very, very simple. It's because when you go with your real estate professional, they can protect you. They can give you guidance. The salesperson that's there from the from the builder is working for the builder, not you. The contract is written for the benefit of the builder, not you. And you know, generally, the builder is going to have some sort of a 
commission available for your buyer's agent. So make, and if they don't, you need to take care of that because it's a very, very large purchase and no one's looking out for your benefit. So the other thing is, even though I lead a lending team, I tell people all the time, let's take a look at what those incentives are because those incentives can be very, very lucrative and why not get them if they're available to you? So we want to make sure that you're getting everything that's best for you. That is the real-time real estate segment brought to you by rsrmoney.com, rsrmoney.com. You know, we've got a, a whole bunch of stuff here that we haven't given away anything in a long, long time because I talk a lot. So <laughs> Josh is in the background just laughing because uh, he gets to try and figure out how to uh, get, get the show into the amount of allotted time every day. <laughs> uh, let's see what we've got here. Home Buyer's Guide. If you're out there shopping for a house, rsrhbg.com. We put out a new Home Buyer's Guide every quarter. So it's all got, it's a new, it's an ebook, uh, magazine style. You get a lot of good information in there, rsrhbg.com. On the similar side, especially if interest rates come down, we've got the Home Seller's Guide, rsrhsg.com. You can see how creative I am. HSG, home seller, hsg.com. And again, it's an ebook, comes out every quarter, give you an idea of some of the things that are available. Right now, again, I talked about this yesterday, and it's something that maybe it was the day before yesterday. RSR3PCTLoan.com. RSR3PCTLoan.com. Why is a 3% mortgage killing you? And as I shared in the earlier segment today, you know, we're going to see interest rates coming down and it's going to be a big, big benefit for a lot of people. And if you're not getting a liability checkup, and that's why I say it's not just about the mortgage, it's about your family's liabilities. It's got to be, and that's why we, we, we are really pushing this concept of borrow smart repay smart. It's not just about borrowing is relatively easy, but most people want to get that repaid. How do you do that? We got to repay smart. And we've got so many people, I hear this every single day that they've got this two and a half, three, three and a half percent mortgage, and they want to make sure they get it paid, paid off. So they're accelerating their payments on that and making a minimum payment on their credit cards. The credit cards average 22.84% interest. And if you've got a sub four mortgage, why would you be paying 22.84 and paying off the four? Doesn't make any sense. Like, well, I want my house paid off. Well, don't you think you could do that quicker if you're not spending a lot of money on interest? The banks are not going to send you a thank you note, I promise you. So if you've got a lot of that other debt, Again, if you can't get it paid off right away, you can look at the rsr2step.com, rsr2step.com. If you can't get it, do a debt consolidation right away and get that paid off. Well, then give us a call again, 800-306-1990. We'll put you in touch with our friend Chris Corrales because they've got some solutions for unsecured debt. Unsecured debt. What is that? Credit cards. Buy now, pay later your private student loans, if you're unfortunate enough to have a repossession and there's a deficiency, uh, un again, unsecured, any kind of an unsecured loan, something that's not tied. Now, your car loan, that's secured by the car. Your home loan, that's secured by the home. But the other, any of the others that are, don't have a security instrument, well, Chris will help you with that. And it's not walking away from them. It's just setting up a strategic plan and negotiating with your creditors to get those paid off and get you out of debt. Now, I will tell you the biggest problem I have with, with recommending people to go to Chris. Not Chris, because I, I know Chris for a lot of years. It's the borrowers. Because I've helped people a year for the last, I don't know, 20, 30 years more, maybe, get out of debt. And what they end up doing is they get right back in debt again. You know, we get them, get their credit scores up, we get their payments down. We get them where they can breathe again, they can sleep again, and then they go and do the same bad habits. So RSR two-step, and you don't have to wait for the interest rates to come down 
to do the RSR two-step. You can do that right now because there are items in RSR two-step that tells you, hey, you're going to pay a higher interest rate because you've got low credit scores. If you've got a lot of debt, you will. You're going to pay a higher interest rate because it's a cash out refinance. We get it. And we know that we want to do that as soon as you can because over the next three to six months, what's going to happen is you're going to get your debts paid off and your credit scores will start increasing. All at the same time, we forecast, no promises, that mortgage rates will be decreasing. So you'll be able to look at that down the road, not right now. You'll be able to look at that down the road and say, okay, the second part of the two-step is to redo the loan again using the better FICO score, let lower debt-to-income ratio, and lower interest rates, we hope. Throwing that out there for you, and as always, we ask, set that first radio preset button to come back here and join Ron Siegel Radio, where we only speak about items affecting your house and your bank account. Thanks to all of our sponsors. A big thanks to Josh and Sean for engineering us today. And, of course, a special thanks to you for spending a little bit of your day with us. That's all for Ron Siegel Radio. Again, if you have any questions or to meet any of our guests, call me anytime, 800-306-1990, 800 306 And remember, make a lot of money so you can help a lot of people and have a lot of fun. Have a great day. We'll talk to you next time on Ron Siegel Radio. <laughs>